Welcome everyone to another episode of The Buttons. <clears throat> I want to apologize right off the top. My allergies are horrible today, so I may be clearing my throat quite a bit. Um, if you just happen to wander upon this and you're wondering what's going on, um, then uh, check out the description box down in the bottom and it will uh, tell you what we're all about. Um, this today I am moving my button coils into a larger enclosure. Um, they've been in a, a small tote very similar to this one, but this one is much larger. Um, so they are going to be four weeks old this Wednesday. Today is Mon or Thursday, sorry. It's Monday, Thursday, they were the first of June. They will be four weeks old. Um, so they should be to the point here in about the middle of June where they're going to be laying some eggs. So they, they mature very quickly. Um, I'm going to take their water out of here and clean it out before I put it in there because it's pretty grody. They are very messy little birds. So um, if you're ever thinking about getting button quails, just know that they are mess makers. Very, very messy little critters. And they are flying. They, they, uh, they fly quite a bit, actually. And uh, so we have to keep the, we have to keep a cover over them because they are mobile. They are mobile. Come here, buddy. And I was going to try to show you guys how the feathering is coming along. Let's take a look here. Let's look at this little feller. I do believe that this is a boy. And the boy just pooped on me. So, there's a look. Look at his little face. See, this right here is what makes me think that it's a boy, is this bearding that's coming in right here. Um, pretty sure that's a boy. You can see the feathers coming in on the head really good. He is a shivering little fella. See the chest feathers. I have to keep a really good tight grip on them because, man, they, they are quick and they fly. There you go, little friend. Thanks for the gift there. I will uh, be sure to keep it until next day. Alright, All right, next victim. Come on, little critters. Let's go. I've been trying really hard to spend as much time like around them as I can to try and like familiarize them with me. And boy, I tell you, they just aren't having it. They are not... They are not apt to be friendly, and they're very hard to catch. This little one specifically is being a problem. All right, let's see you, friend. Little yellow head. Look at that mohawk. Man, coming in. Let's see if we can get any view on the chin, maybe. Let me... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay. Loose birdie. I'll be back. All right, quick save. That actually didn't take very long. I wanted to show you the little wings, which uh, I just got a really good vision of. <laughs> they are flyers. They are flighty flyers. So for their substrate in this thing, I've just used sand. Um, because I put dirt in this one, like some soil that I had, and, um, they, uh, they really make a mess of their enclosure when they do that. When I put the sand in there with it, it really makes a mess. So, I, uh, aha. Two of it. One of them flew out, but I was able to, uh, I was able to do, 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 and do, 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 do. I'm telling you guys, you, it, it looks like I'm squishing them. 
you have to clamp down on these little things because they they are scurriers for sure and it's really like I'm shaking right now because you you can't squish them but you can't you can't be too loose with them or they will they'll get out they will get away from you I'm telling you they scurry all right two more come here you pesky little devils all right let's see if we can get you out of here without anybody taking flight come on Gotcha. Here's this one. Pretty, pretty. Beautiful mohawk coming out the back there. I hate that this this footage is so uh, <laughs> so janky, but these little guys are skittery. Very, very skittery. Where's, your, where's the other one? There should be five of them in there. Okay, he's hiding behind the basket. All right, last call. Last one. Come here, friend. Come here, Qui-Gon Quail. These guys were born on May 4th. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Come here, friend. I know I'm shaking like a leaf. Stop. <laughs> I'm so scared to smush them, and I'm so scared of them getting out. It's stressful. Come here, little gray friend. All right. Last but not least, this little fella. Doo. Oh, guys. There we go. Look at that. Sweet friend. All right. And number six. Doo. There they are. Flipping out because... They're in a strange place and they don't know what to do, but that's okay. They acclimate quickly, quickly, quickly. Give them some food in here. So with their food, what I've done is I've taken a mix of it's corn, like a corn mash. Um, I crushed up a bunch of dried mealworms and uh, it's got white millet and flax seed in it too. So it's got a little bit of everything in it. So this is what I've been feeding them. It looks disgusting, but they love it. So it's what we go with. I just put the millet and the uh, flax seed in. So um, I was reading some info about them and they were saying that those two things were pro usually pretty pretty good for them so there we are new enclosure for the buttons I, I wanted to uh, get them situated before we left town because uh, I worry about them. They're, they're so flighty, you guys. That's one thing that I would caution anybody on that's trying, that's thinking about getting button quails is, man, they, you got to really keep a hold of them. They are skittery, skittery little jiggers. And, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're hard to get a hold of once they get out. But I will have to say three of them escaped just now, and I caught all three within, like, a minute. So they're uh, they're not too bad, and they've got a, they've got an upgraded basket. It's bigger than the other one. So they were nesting baskets that I found. So I put the bigger one in there for them this time, and uh, they seem to be enjoying behind the basket, which is fine. Whatever, make yourselves happy, little friends. I just want some eggs. <laughs> Got about two weeks for that. So hopefully we have some some girls in there. I know we've got a couple boys for sure. But uh, hopefully there's some girls. 
So yeah, oh, and there they go, onto the coil food. And you'll notice when they eat, the, I swear these are the messiest birds ever. They're very, very messy. But the good news is they clean up after themselves because they'll, if you notice when they peck at the food, they don't just pick one piece, they like stick their beak in and then almost like shake their beak so it spreads the food out and uh, it gets outside of the container and you know, pain in the butt ensues, but they clean it up. They'll, if once they like scatter it around, they'll eat it around from the ground around their bowl. So they're not too bad. They poop in their food, as you can see, they just stand in it. They poop in their water. They're very messy, very, very messy little birds. Not like chickens. Chickens aren't nearly as messy, I don't think. Um, chickens are a little more refined, maybe. I don't know. Quails are their feral cousins. So, all right, everybody. I think we're going to get their water situated and uh, let, them, let them get used to their new digs. So please hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you very, very much to our 119 subscribers. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, make sure you drop a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what your dealio is. And uh, yeah, hit the like button. Show us some love, y'all. Show these little babies some love. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.